let's have a closer look to the cable that comes out of the panel so from this side we have different cables and as we know it now each cable is connected to the one of those uh, switches or circuit breakers now when you look to those cables you will see that some of them has a larger cross-sectional area than the others so when you look to the top cable here clearly it has a larger cross-sectional area than the one beneath it and if we trace it back you will see that this cable is connected to the stove and the stove is a large load meaning that it consumes higher current so if there is a higher current to be consumed there it means that we need a larger cross-section area of the of the cable to reduce the heat why because larger cross-section area means lower resistance and the heat comes from the i square r loss so when r is less meaning the power loss is less and the heat dissipated will be will be less now if you come to the other side of the uh, banner the same thing so we'll see this uh, orange cable uh, has larger cross section area than the other the other cables and this is the one that's connected to the to the dryer and again the dryer is a large load that consumes high high current now when you look here those white cables these are the main cables that is used in the house as most of the receptacles lighting inside the house use these uh, standard standard cables now one last thing here when you come down here you see a green wire this green wire we call it the earth and we have seen that for every uh, uh, receptacles there is at the top part of any receptacle either it's 120 or 240 there is uh, the uh, point for for the ground to be connected to the to the to the ground now let's have a closer look to the, to those cables and see what is inside them so uh, this is one of the cable that comes out of the wall and we can if you come closer here you will see the uh, cover cable this one which is the earth this cover cable is the earth and then we see two wires one black and one white these colors are are not random actually as the black wire is the live line and the white one is the neutral so when you see two cables like this one black one white you know this is the 120 uh, volt cable now if both were black then uh, this is this would be for 240 and 40 volt to sum up if we come here and look to the sockets now the sockets now we understand it very well it has three holes one is for the earth one for the live and one for the neutral and this is for the 120 volt for the 240 volt will be two live and one earth 